Okay, folks, I think I'm recording. Um, this is probably going to be another disastrous attempt. Alright. Okay, I've got to fly. I wish he'd shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, this is it, right? So I'm going to fly up this great big flipping mountain. Right, I think they've shut up now. So I've got to fly up this great big... Oh, sh dear God. Right. Okay. Right, good. All right, so it's not very good weather. It's cloudy. Um, helicopters don't like flying at high altitude. <coughs> Excuse me. And yes, I've got to fly to the top of a mountain and rescue some people who've survived a crash in another helicopter which in itself does not kind of fill me with a great deal of hope um, I found through experience that the more climbing I do now um, along this ridge line the easier it gets later on but it does get extremely difficult to get the helicopter to gain lift the higher I go um, but you know, I'm uh, I'm doing okay now. I'm just over 4,000 feet. You can kind of get an idea of my control inputs by looking at the little red square at the top of the screen. Oh, I can't even remember where the flipping mountain is now. Somewhere over there. Ah, okay. Yep. So, just, I guess, around about my one o'clock position is the the peak I'm aiming for. And I'm going to try and fly along this ridge line. Nice uh, lens flare effects. It's just bit of a shame about the uh, the fog doesn't always look so good probably want to keep my speed around about 80 knots make sure I'm getting plenty of climb um, not too much turbulence now I'm having to give it a little bit of rudder now and again just to keep things on the straight and narrow already feel that the controls a little bit sluggish from time to time this is a good climb Well, the last bit of the climb is particularly challenging. I'm just controlling my speed with the uh, cyclic stick here. Occasionally just adjusting the collective just to make sure I don't... Well, I don't know what that warning light is. It's a, I'm guessing it goes off if I've uh, got too much collective on. So... I haven't really read the manual for this thing. So I'm just easing back on the collective now because I just want to keep my speed 
at around about 80 knots but I want my climb rate to be good and high because it starts to get quite difficult to gain altitude I feel like I need to wear sunglasses actually looking at that sun uh, nice views So I'm aiming for the saddle, which is, if you look at the first peak, which is the right-hand peak, then I think just behind that there's a, what they call a saddle, which is a, um, a dip in between the other peak. We're not going to... Yep, and that's because there's massive turbulence. So you can see my rate of climbs dropping now. And I'm going to try and skim along the... Uh, side of the mountain to try and get a bit of ground effect once you start to lose transitional lift it gets extremely difficult to uh, climb this isn't going too bad actually at the moment Try and give it a bit more lift, a bit more collective. I don't want to make it too hard for myself on the landing. Okay, this is where it starts to get tricky. You don't really want to let the speed drop below 40 knots, otherwise you end up going into a hover, which you don't really want. We should see them just over that ridge there. This is where it's going to start to get a little bit difficult. Yeah, so I'm losing. I'm sort of going into a hover now. That's okay. And this is where I'm having to use one hell of a lot of left rudder just to keep the thing flying I should see them there we go right now I've got to try and land the flipping thing <coughs> this is not easy but hopefully I don't want to go too fast here either Or too high, I'm oh, I'm gonna struggle now. Oh, this is there's a hell of a lot of Whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm binned it, I've binned it, I've binned it. Oh that's it. Oh No, that's it. Oh. Everything was going so well. Guess I'll be calling for a Kazivak myself. Hmm. Well, okay. At least I didn't die. Let's try again. <coughs> I know what I did wrong, I was just too high as I came over the saddle.
All right. Bit of back stick, bit of left rudder. No messing around. Okay, here we go. So, seen some people do this flying up the valley, but it just seems to be so much more difficult to... Uh, Get over the peak. Port, this is Colin. You are cleared for rescue operation. Winds are 331 for 3 meters per second. Visibility poor at base altitude because of the heavy clouds. But clear above 4,000 meters. Have a safe flight. There's no such thing as a milk run mission uh, for the Huey. It just seems to drop you in right at the deep end and gets harder and harder key at 4000 feet meters feet is it i don't know 4000 units of height Sky is lovely. Blinded by the light. You want to get somewhere fast. Don't take the Huey. It's my long suffering co pilot. I don't know what uh, that thing is there. I think there's an autopilot. I've never really used it. <coughs> I'm uh, flying with the Warthog Hotess. Satek Pro Combat. Um, you do need rudder pedals when you're going to fly hel helicopters, I've found. Uh, what else? Yeah. Um, obviously, I've mapped my throttle to do the collective. I haven't mapped all the controls, to be honest. Um, I like this aircraft because it is pretty much uh, flight by the seat of your pants. There's not much in the way of uh, sophisticated control systems that take you ages to learn. But it does reward the patient player. You won't be landing this one on your first go. Okay. Be careful with my... Uh, 
Air speed. It's a very pretty game, this. Especially when played on a nice computer. Okay. You do have to fly this, you know, it doesn't do it for you. Um, you can't let go of the controls. Hmm. Eating a bit of turbulence here. But keep your eye on that rate of climb because it very soon can start dropping off, you don't realise. It's quite hard to judge the distances. This is going to be an awesome sim when I've got uh, full VR. At the moment I'm using track IR which is quite good to give you that sort of level of immersion but it is only a 28 inch monitor so uh, could be improved alright I'm um, I think I'm coming up on this a bit faster than I was last time. Like I said, I don't want to let my airspeed drop too much. And I don't want to be going too fast when I uh, come over the ridge. Or be too high. So I'm going to try and get it a little bit lower, a little bit closer to the uh, cliff face. Just dropping off my collective a little bit. We are losing airspeed now. I'm very soon going to have to start banging in quite a bit of left rudder to keep me flying straight and level. Yeah, feeding it in now. Okay, this is this is quite a good approach here. Want to keep that forward forward motion, but uh, Oh dear, this isn't good. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I think I have misjudged it. Oh, oh, oh. I think I'm going to just see if I can set down. Oh, that's it, tail rotors out. Bloody hell. <sighs> yep, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. So near yet so far. Oh well. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> 